Hey, hi, Ben with Stryker here to talk about your new power loading systems for your ambulances. What I'd like you to do most is play with them powered. 98% of the time they're going to work very well and that's how you're going to interact with them. So that's what I'd like you to perfect first before then going into any troubleshooting uh, scenarios. To extract the unit, we're going to depress this hitch and bring the unit out at the same time popped up and made a noise that is an audible and visual clue that it's powered. If it did not pop up, did not make that noise, I would get a partner, we would do a two person unload just the way we do today. At this point, it's gonna come out like a drawer. It's as fast or slow as I want it to. I really emphasize a nice, slow stop. We've got somebody with broken bones and I do this, they are gonna feel every bit of that. Come over here, Chief, for the picture. At this point, we're going to expand the litter. When the litter's fully expanded, has the patient's weight, it will tell power load I'm good to go. Power load will kick in. I give it a 1-1000 after I hear that pitch change before I let go of this button. 1-1000. Now at this point, that little tiny button on your gurneys all these years, this is what it does. It disconnects it from the system. That's just like a car door. If I'm pulling on the door and trying to unlock it at the same time, I'm gonna have a problem. I like to push it in, shore up that gap before I then depress my button. Go ahead and bring it out. You're gonna bring it away from this system that's there now that you didn't have before. We'll lift these forks up. Hear that small little latch in there. It's gotta be all the way up to slide forward. I'm looking at these two black bumpers on the inside. Make sure it lands in that upper area. If it's down here, my doors are gonna catch it. It's still gonna slide around. If I have it up there, it's a nice positive break. Go ahead and bring my unit back out until I get indicator lights that I'm ready to load. At that point, I'm gonna follow the pins right here on the inside. Now those pins are gonna go right above this rail. If they're too low to climb the system, that's okay. If it's too high, you'll be forcing it down. It'll get locked in. Play with your plus and minus depending on your patient's weight and know what that sweet spot looks like. Now, as I go to attach those pins, if one side is out, I'm all amber. When both sides are in, I'm all green. So I only focus on one light at a time and you'll know very easily which side is out and which side is in. Now it's gonna work in reverse. Power load will lift it. Once it has the patient's weight, then the gurney will extract its legs. See how tight it got right at the very end. It's really critical you let it finish its function before you go to slide it in because if it's not fully uh, collapsed you're probably gonna have a hard time getting it latched in.